fam welcome back to the channel thank you for joining me today we are back with another clip ins video from curls queen so shout out to them for sponsoring this video the last time i was here i showed y'all the blowout straight but this time i'm showing you the 3c 4a curly hair and it is super pretty y'all see that it's so pretty so soft the curls are definitely popping so i'm gonna show you how i installed these clip-ins i'm gonna share my thoughts with you and make sure if you have any thoughts of your own you can drop them in the comments all the info for this hair will be in the description box as well so let's get into it so today we are working with the 3c 4a clip-ins from curls queen they are 180 percent density Look at those curls, y'all. They are so juicy. Now, as you can tell, they do not match my natural 4C hair, but we're going to make it work today. These come in a set of 10. You have clip-ins that have five clips on each one, and then you have ones with four, three, and two, respectively. Now, just like you saw with the blowout clip-ins, I love that this is the seamless weft, which will lay much flatter on your hair, on your scalp. So I really love this seamless technology. Now when applying the clip-ins, I started off by taking the one with five clip-ins on it and applying it near the bottom and then proceeding with, I believe that was a four-piece clip-in set. And I mean, this is very easy to do. I think clip-ins are great for beginner extension wearers, people who, you know, you can't do a sew-in, you don't know how to do a wig, you have clip-ins. And you'll see here how I'm applying it to my head. One thing though, I left a lot of hair out and I know in this video I'm going to be showing you how I blend my type 4 hair with this type 3 C 4A hair. I really wish I didn't leave this much hair out in retrospect, but it's okay because we make it work in this video. Let me know in the comments if you yourself have tried clip-ins before. Which brand did you try? Would you consider this brand? One thing I will say is that these clip-ins are not going anywhere. They look good and they're super sturdy. Like I'm just here for the quality. And these clip-ins are 22 inches, by the way. That's why I stretched them out for you. So now we are gonna go in to the defining part, which was a learning curve. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god y'all y'all gonna see how well this does not define my hair right now i used water and gel and honey your girl was struggling it was like the gel was literally just sitting on top of the hair and really not doing much of anything like i'm sure there's a way to explain this in chemistry class but it just wasn't working for definition. So I had to watch a YouTube video and I did some practice out off the camera and that worked a lot better. I think it would look better if I had less hair out, but that's okay. But basically I used edge control. I used edge control that I got from Amazon and also I used jam. I used them interchangeably to define my 4C hair. Basically I just went piece by piece with the product and I use less water this time because I think that was an issue and that's how I was able to define my hair so you can see here it's actually starting to curl up and I feel like the edge control is keeping the curl in place and it's mimicking more of a 3c texture be clear y'all I am not huge on defining my natural hair I normally like to have it in like a blowout state or just have it in like a really zigzag natural type of state. However, I'm doing this tutorial to show you how you can do it for yourself if this is the look that you are going for. I'm definitely grateful for the person who created the video because I think this worked out way better than what I was doing with just gel and water. So yeah, who knew edge control was the key to this type of install? Let me know if you all have your own tips as far as how you like to define your natural hair, especially if you have type four hair like me, this might be something I would try again, maybe if I have like a, a V part unit or something like that. Now, after I finish defining this area, you'll see that I add another clip in, but I realized that upon adding it there, I don't know, something about the look it was giving me wasn't, it, it wasn't really working for me. So you'll see me install it here. And I, I thought I was going to like the look, but I, I think I just didn't like the fact that I still had more of my hair out that I would have to define. So what I did was 
after fluffing it out and playing with it and by the way this hair I, I just love how juicy these curls are seriously it's, it's so cute but yes after um playing more with my hair I decided to take it out and you'll see how that looks in the next clip however my natural hair when it's curly like that when it's kinky coily it is definitely shorter and I decided like you know what I am just going to clip it back let's just do that so that's what I realized here as I was fluffing out the hair you can see that my hair is is noticeable still because it's much shorter for sure and it's just not completely blended so this is something that I think people can do who have even shorter hair than mine you can use clip-ins and then just pin it back into this style which I think turned out very cute right now I'm using clips that are um like they don't leave a dent in the hair and look how it turned out I think it turned out adorable especially if you have some cute clips why not and of course I had to do the half up half down style which I think turned out super cute it's, it's my favorite style to do so after wearing the clip-ins for one night I decided that it was time to wash them and I used my Simply Stylin Human Hair Wig Shampoo which I will link in the description box and I just went in in the sink and just washed the hair very carefully. As I was washing the hair I did notice that they were shedding but I wouldn't say it was anything more than curly kinky curly hair sheds. It was a normal amount of shedding. As you can see when you wash the hair you can definitely see the true length and texture of the hair now the real star of the show is this detangling brush that i literally just got through tiktok shop it's called the unbrush some of you might have heard about it if you're on tiktok but i also have it in my amazon storefront this is my first time actually using it and i must say i'm impressed because this hair did get pretty tangled after me wearing it that one night and it was practically gliding through the hair Mind you, I only washed it. I didn't put any type of like leave-in conditioner or any other product in the hair. And look at how the hair was turning out after using this detangling brush. I'm a believer, so if you want that brush, you can check it out also in my description box. So let me know your thoughts. What do you think about these clip-ins? Overall, I think the quality is great. I love that they offer these clip-ins as a seamless clip-in, which makes it lay super flat on your scalp. I think the texture is very nice, super soft. Y'all saw me struggle with blending it with my 4C hair and shout out to that creator. I will make sure I put her, her shorts in my description box as well because she's the one that helped me get it together when the gel was not working, okay? Even with all the struggle, I still like how it turned out. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. I did recently come out with a life update video, letting y'all know why I've been absent for so long. Please check it out. I was definitely super vulnerable in that video, but I think it was time. It was definitely time to share what's been going on. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.